Welcome to Plan Hub's Masterclass Courses. My name is Jessica, and in this video, you'll learn how to use the takeoff and estimation tools to complete an estimate on an electrical plan. Knowing how to set yourself up for a successful and efficient takeoff and estimate will save you time and money so you can bid more projects and grow your company. In preparation for this takeoff, I have reviewed the electrical schedule of materials and the legend. We will start by setting our scale and renaming our page. To set the scale, click on the scale tool in the toolbar at the top. Select the scale that aligns with the drawings and click set. To rename your page, left click on the page number in the plans list to the left. Select rename sheet. Enter in the new page name and hit enter on your keyboard to save it. Now that I have set up my page, I can begin obtaining my measurements and quantities using the takeoff tools. I'll begin by measuring the MC wire using the linear curve tool. In the properties box, you can rename and adjust the properties to line with your preferences. To zoom in on your plans, scroll forward with the scroll wheel on your mouse. To zoom out, scroll backward. To move the plans around, you can right click and drag. To begin, left click on the first point. Move your mouse to the next curve and left click on the next point, tracing the wire on the plans. Hit enter twice to complete your measurement. Turn the tool back on in the measurements panel to the right to continue your measurement in another place. Now to add the curves, I will select my measurement by clicking on the select tool. I will select the measurement with my left click. Then find the center point, click and drag that point to align with the curve on the plans. Now I can begin counting all the items I plan to install. Once I have named my measurements and set my properties, I begin left clicking where each like item occurs on the plans. Once I have counted all like items, I will start a new count for the next set of like items. We will continue counting and measuring until we have accounted for all the products we intend to install. For the sake of time, I have completed my measurements and counts for this office space on a duplicate page. We'll move over there now. Once you have completed your measurements and added any notes using your text tool, you can download the PNG with the work you completed to your desktop by clicking download PNG in the upper right hand corner. If you just have the takeoff tools, at this point, you can export or download your measurements and their properties to your desktop. It will be in a CSV file. To do this, navigate to the project measurements page. In project measurements, click export. Next, we're going to begin our estimate. There are two ways you can implement your measurements from your takeoff into an estimate. The first is by sending a measurement to the estimate from your takeoff. To do this, check off the measurement and click Add to Estimate. You can also right click on a measurement and click Add to Estimate. Select the estimate page you want this measurement sent to and click Add. You can view these items in your estimate by clicking Project Estimates at the top. Here you can see that the unit cost and measurement values from your takeoff have been added to your estimate. To edit the items in this field to align with your preferences, click on the edit icon. You can see on my second project estimate page, I have already edited these fields. You can save these line items to your personal cost item library by checking the items off, clicking the actions button, then select Add to Cost Items Library. 
The second way you can implement a takeoff into your estimate is via the assemblies. To access or build an assembly, click on Assemblies. Assemblies are grouping of cost items that have attached formulas and products to account for a full cost of install and bill of materials. Additionally, assemblies are user specific. All users on your account can utilize assemblies that others have created. However, only the original creator is able to edit the original assembly. You will see a list of assemblies in your library, including both assemblies you have built and assemblies that PlanHub has provided templates for. If you have a large list of assemblies, like we see here, you can use the search bar to search the assemblies by name or description. Today, we will create a new assembly by clicking Create Assembly. When creating an assembly, you must first name your assembly. This will be how you identify the assembly in the takeoff page in the future. Next, select the measurement tool you wish to use this assembly on and the item type you are planning to add to this assembly. Now we need to start adding our cost items. Because we saved all our cost items to the measurement library, we can quickly find them using the owner filter. Click on the arrow next to owner, select your company or enter the name of the creator. You can also clear your filters and type in the name of the product or line item that you would like to find. Check off the line item and then click add. Now you can begin editing this line item. Enter in your local tax rate. Identify if this item is a material, equipment, labor, subbed out trade, an allowance, or other. Identify your output. This item is purchased in rolls, so I am adjusting this to rolls. Now I need to apply a formula so that my total linear feet gets converted to the number of rolls I need to purchase. Select the formula icon. If your account has already created formulas, you can use those here by clicking the plus sign. Once you've selected the plus sign, you can click apply to cost item and start adding the next item to your assembly. For this example, we will create a new formula. Name your formula. To create your formula, click into the dotted box. We need our total linear foot plus our drop lines. Our drop lines are counted by all of our installation points. So we need to take our count of installation points and multiply that by the length of the drop line. Then we will take the total number and divide it by the length of each roll. Because I purchase full rolls and not partial linear feet, I will round my results up. Now let's test our formula. If my total length that I measured was 250 feet and I have 22 drop lines, my expected total will be two rolls. If I'm happy with this formula, I'll go ahead and click apply to cost item. And in the pop-up, I will confirm that I wish to save this. Feel free to stop and add any additional details that you wish to add. Now I will save this line item and begin working on my next line item. Because this is purchased in 10 foot sticks, I'll adjust this to a count of each. Save and open up my formula. Enter in the name for this formula and then begin working. I will identify my total length and divide that by 10. Because I do not purchase partial sticks, I will round this number up. 
Now I can save my changes. To utilize this takeoff, I will click on the takeoff. Because this assembly has formulas that call for variables that I need to identify based on my counts, I will open my project measurements in a new page. In my notes, for each of my measurements, I took note of which items required a drop line. As a result, I can quickly identify this information. To utilize the assembly I just built, I will identify the measurements I wish to send into that assembly. Right click on that measurement and then click send to assembly. A list of all of my linear assemblies will populate. I'll select the assembly I wish to use. Then I'll select the estimate I wish to add it to. Click Add. Then I'll enter in the number of drop lines I calculated and insert values. A confirmation will populate in the upper right hand corner. Click on the link in the confirmation to open up that page of the estimate. We can quickly identify what our expected cost will be for this material and how many we will need for each of these items. Now I can add my expected waste. To edit these line items, click the edit icon. I expect to experience about a 15% waste for each of these items. You'll notice that your quantities were adjusted, which affected your total unit cost and your grand total. If this is your internal cost for these items and you charge customers at a different rate, you can use the adjust rates to increase the cost by a set amount for each item. Select the estimate, select the item type, and enter the value that you wish to increase this by. All items affected by your selections will have an increased total based on the amount you entered for the adjusted rate. Additionally, we want an overhead and profit for this project. This will be a percentage, and that percentage will be 25%. Click Apply, and you can see your overhead and profit. Once you have created your assemblies, sent your measurements in, and completed all of your work in your estimate, you can click Export to export this out of the system. Thank you for watching. I hope you log in and start building your own estimates and your own assemblies in your library.